Rise and shine. It's about 5.30 in the morning. I'm in Winnipeg right now. Uh, the three of us, Nick, Hoffman, and I decided to drive halfway. And then uh, we only got about seven and a half hours from Winnipeg up to Baker's Narrows Lodge. So three of us all loaded up in one truck, one 14 foot trailer. So we are uh, packed in, but uh, seven and a half hours from now, we're gonna be at a pretty magical place. You get better mileage with the green one? Look at Brad. He's cold. He has oh. He hasn't seen cold all year. How was your nap back there, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> We're just filling up in St. Martin. We have five hours left. We've actually passed probably nine gas stations so far. Finally figured we better stop and fill up, but I was, I've was i been pleasantly surprised that there has been plenty of gas stops because I didn't know what to expect. Last time I was here was a long time ago. And... Uh, we were talking, should we be filling up jerry cans? A bunch cans? of gas cans. Just gas in case, cans yeah. in case, whatever, but there's been plenty of stops along the way and paved roads. Thought it'd be some little goat trail, you know? <laughs> well, it's also it's also st still winter up here is one thing you'll notice. There's actually snow and things, so. There's snow. It was gonna be a fun way to end the, end the winter. I haven't seen any snow all year. The snowmobile is gonna be very happy. It's got a couple hundred miles on it and it hasn't seen snow yet. <laughs> That's so crazy. Brett's excited to brap, brap this week. Five more hours, we'll be at Baker's. Did I ever tell you you have a lovely whistling voice? <laughs> you haven't, thank you. The police yeah. are down that way, it says. Lying. Chicken delight. Remember Eric Lavopo and how obsessed he was with Chicken Chef and Chicken Delight and Chicken This, yeah, Chicken That, something yeah. with a baseball bat. Gas stop number two. We're just south of Grand Rapids, where we take a left. We stopped at an Esso. They got gas. They got ketchup chips. Our next gas stop will probably be at the Pa. I think that's about two hours, fifteen minutes from here. And now we're just three and a half hours from Baker's. We're getting there. Keeping them clean, baby. Dude, this isn't... I'm pleasantly surprised with the roads. I mean, they're bumpy. They're, they're a little bumpy. You gotta watch out for the orange flags, but uh, pretty smooth going. We're just about to grab gas in the paw. And then we only got one more hour to go and we have arrived at your destination. Yeah, baby. Oh. This is so sick. Oh my gosh. Dude, we made it. I'm so excited. The shield rock. The giant fish that are within about a football field of us right now. This is our turn. There we go. Yes! It's right there on the road, that's nice. I put her in the ditch right there at the entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to catch some fish, man. So I was here like six years ago. It was an incredible experience and for some dumb reason I have not been back. And I am so excited to change that. Oh, I feel like a little kid, dude. Yes! You guys ready? Dude. I don't. I don't think I'll ever be I'm right. This so is gonna be awesome. Pumped, man. <laughs> Let's do this. Get over here. Clubhouse. This is where we have breakfast in the morning. You. Seven to eight, and dinners are from five to eight in the evening. Okay. So go past this building here, and you're right here. Sweet. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Thank you very much. We'll go gear up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. I already caught one. <laughs> Life is good, man. I'm going to have to tighten those things once the whole drive. Oh, we lost a Nick. 
Where'd he go? We've been here for 30 seconds. And he's gone. crazy thing when I stayed here like six years ago this is the same cabin I was in isn't that nuts just good to be back ready for a nap no. just kidding let's catch the fish Brett, what's the plan tonight? All right, so we're uh, we're just heading out on Lake Athapaskow here in northern Manitoba, and we are uh, heading out to what's called the Aurora Pond. It's kind of a cool ice shack that you can view the northern lights out of and fish. And so we're going to head out there, and we got it situated in a in a spot that is uh, kind of multi-species. It'll be a gorgeous day out here, and uh, we're going to go get set up and see what we can do. Man, this is awesome, getting sent out here in a tracked flatbed with a plow on it. This thing does it all. Yeah, this is one of our ice machines that we use for transporting people and doing ice rescues and stuff like that up here. So it's a good piece of equipment. He doesn't know what he's missing inside this thing. <laughs> Poor guy. No, he just got that at the beginning of this year. He's been waiting for snow ready? all year. He hasn't ridden it yet? He's, he's got a couple hundred miles on it, but all glare oh, ice. No kidding. Nothing on snow. Oh, man. He'll be loving this. sleep in this thing overnight it's uh, pretty it's pretty cool um, and people can fish out of it and watch the aurora and just hang out beauty yeah sweet let's check it out that was the most fun i've had all winter I, oh, you winter. finally have snow for that new oh sled. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I would come here just to snowmobile, dude. How'd she do? <laughs> oh my gosh, it was so fun. That thing is crazy. Yeah. He's hauling. The snow flying up off of that thing was so badass. All right, let's check out this house. Look at this house. Oh, got to know the password. Huge! <laughs> I was not expecting that. What? It's the best kid house I've ever seen. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Unbelievable. Wow. You know who was the last person to stay here in Mexico? <laughs> you guys know Frank Rat Rat now? Yeah. Yeah. Frank is the man. He was here two nights ago. We he just slept, missed him. He slept here. Yeah, he left yesterday. No way. Yeah, he's a great guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. That's so funny. He was here two days ago. Yeah. Did he hit his head on the ceiling? Dang near. <laughs> he's a you know what's man. funny? You know what's funny is you gotta take these 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 uh, put these beds down. You gotta lean into them and, and unhook the chain. Yeah. So I'm, I'm showing him how to do this. The other, the other night it's like 10:30 at night. Dave. I brought him out here and. I'm like, Frank, you gotta put a little shoulder into this. And they said, Do you think you got enough in here? <laughs> <laughs> he looks at me. He's like, I could push through that wall if I wanted to. Right? Did he do it? Like, I don't know how they do that. <laughs> <laughs> My dad actually pretty much, like, he did most of it. It's so cool. And, uh, wow. So at nighttime, you put these beds down, you chill out, you watch something on the TV, and then 
You can just watch it on the lights. Yes. Get the fire going. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. This is so sick. So it looks like there's a fish just sitting off to the side here. Can you see this? Eight feet away. Sick man. I have my hood up so I can't hear and I hear steaks tonight and then something a little louder. Oh. Yeah. Alright, next one's gotta be a walleye. <laughs> okay. No promises, I'll do my best. I like that frosted beard, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's got him in his castle. Eating tortilla chips right now, watching TV. No, he doesn't have a TV on, he doesn't know how to start a generator. <laughs> Oh, I got two fish following each other that are coming my way. Three of them. Four of them. Are these tulabies or what the heck's going on? Oh, we're going to find out. Look at that tulip. I just had four tulabies come in. I didn't either. <laughs> Do they keep these for bait? Is there like a certain size? Little four pack, it was cool. Do you think I should keep this probably for cut bait? No? That was cool. No, I let it go. <laughs> I can't wait to hear you go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were messing with me. <laughs> Whatever, it was still cool. Yeah. Freaking hook's already been. Oh, it's just getting broken in. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Dang. I was hoping there was going to be something different. That's alright. Not mad at it. Whew. Look at this little trough right here. Oh, you got it mad. What direction is um, that? Um, it would be that way. We might have holes out there. Let me see. I'll drive over top and see. Yeah. Lots of pike right here. It's about like 35 feet from Oh, okay. Oh, I'm listening to her. Oh, it looks like Nick got the fire going. Look at him. Oh, Nick is here too? Nick Linder's in the house there. By, say hi. Yeah, you should for sure. Oh, there's one. This one's actually moving a little quicker. Yeah. That was sweet. Did we fool one of the walleyes? <laughs> it was very walleye looking. Yes, sir. I just needed a mirror to stop by. He's the good luck charm. Hey. Yeah! <laughs> Dude, hey. thank you. Finally. Hey, not every walleye in Manitoba is green. Check it out. <laughs> we got us some gold. Scarf that jigging wrap. Goldilocks. We'll send her back. It's really cold. That was awesome. That one actually ate like it should, man. Yeah. I love it. Waving bye. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was awesome to meet you awesome. finally. It was really nice to meet let's, you. Uh, let's sneak yeah. out bourbon fishing, dude. For sure, and keep your contents, man. It's 
gold. I, I really appreciate I that. Love it. I really, I really appreciate that. Stuff, so. You were thinking uh, either tomorrow night or Friday night? Yeah, we'll just keep, we'll just chat on the uh, on Instagram. Sure. And you'll let me know what's worked for you. Yeah. In the group, okay? Dude, that sounds awesome. Awesome. All right. Hell yeah, dude. You Maybe I'll see you on shore. Yeah, for sure. All right, thanks, man. Oh. Showed up and made it. <laughs> I like that. The whole name the species thing is crazy here. Lake so trout. Definitely feels like a walleye. Lake trout, northern walleye tulipy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you at Lee? Oh, you. I see mine. I'm down there. I like that it's not at the surface yet. Ooh. <laughs> Come on, baby. Sun is setting. <laughs> Prime time. You look good. <laughs> I'm cold, man. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. It was left my jacket in the back <laughs> of the trunk that I came in on. It's only oh. below zero. This is a heavy fish. Dog. So, oh my goodness. If you feel like getting close, I'll dive in. I'm gonna You'll back. see my uh, swivel come up. Sure. Dude, oh. big wallet. Swivel. See air bubbles. Oh, bubbles? Yeah. We got us a lake. Oh, it just came out. Oh, no. Well, oh, she's a little frosty out here. I don't know what you all got to see. We didn't uh, hardly have time to set up cameras, but uh, we got out here and we just snuck right out to the ice for a couple of hours. We didn't go way out to the main lake for lake trout. We stopped just a few miles out on kind of a multi species spot. Nick caught a lake trout while I was literally drilling a hole still 10 feet away. A wild little mixed bag, graphing lots of fish still. But I think we're gonna head in. It's been a long travel day. Gear up the big long rods for tomorrow and tomorrow we're hitting the ice all day for lake trout. Maybe even stay out after dinner for burbot. The trip hasn't even started yet and we've already got lake trout, walleye, tulipy, pike. Four species on just a quick little mission. This is going to be a magical couple of days. <laughs>